Hey Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. All right, everyone. So we're going to get into our first reading of the day. Remember to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you are new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure you all have your notification bell on so you'll know when I go live. Make any announcements to the community board as well as um, any uploads that I post to the channel, okay? If you're having issues with any of the notifications, you can unsubscribe and then resubscribe. And just make sure that your alerts are on, okay? So this oil that you guys see me using right here, this is my road opener oil. So I'm going to make that available this weekend for you guys, okay? If you're interested in it, it will be on my YouTube uh, store, okay? All right. <clears throat> Spirit, angels, guys, universe, I call upon you now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Channel message reading. Archangel Michael, Uriel, Serial, Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, and Raphael. I set you all step forward to shield and protect me as I tap into this channel message reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please and thank you. Okay, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> oh boy. So we have an energetic message from someone that is admitting that they have been lying to you. So I've been lying to you. So someone is admitting that they have been lying to you. Tell me more about this spirit. I've been lying to you. Why is that here? Now, sometimes when we get these energetic messages, this may have been someone that have not told you these messages. This is coming from the spirit realm, okay? Okay. All right, so we have another message here. I have been trying to numb the pain. So yeah, sometimes, you know, when we get these energetic messages, again, this may be something that someone has not told you. Now, when it comes to trying to numb the pain, this is what someone is admitting, is admitting that they have been doing. They've been trying to numb the pain of something. Hmm. So maybe this person is basically saying here, I have been lying. You know, maybe I am in my feelings about us, the relationship, friendship, whatever it was. Behind the scenes, I'm actually trying to numb the pain with maybe third parties, drinking, smoking, keeping myself busy, distracted, who knows. Tell me more about this spirit. Mm -hmm. Embarrass. Someone is embarrassed about what may have happened between you guys or just embarrassed of the fact of what they've been doing possibly to numb the pain or even embarrassed about the fact that they have been lying to you in some way, shape, or form. <clears throat> All right, Scorp, so let's get into it. Let me grab a deck from over here. I think I'm going to pull. Let me, get, let me grab these from over here. All right, so we're going to use a smaller deck to clarify this. So tell me about I've been lying to you. Why is that here? And of course, like, comment, share, subscribe, everyone. I want to say thank you all. For the channel reaching 20,000 subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. Keep in mind, um, in celebration of the 20,000 that we have reached, everyone gets 50% off of a general or love reading. Make sure that you pay attention to when I post things on the community board. It is 50% off for each reading. So you will use the code SCORPIO2024 either on my Intuitive Goddess Tarot website or my YouTube store, okay? And that special is going to end on September 30th, which is Monday. So you have like 48 to 72 hours left for that special, okay? All right, tell me about I've been lying to you. Thank you. Oh, Nine of Swords. Oh, it's eating someone alive because they know they've been lying to you. Someone... Especially with this nine of swords, this is like they're being haunted by everything that they have said to you, every lie that they have told, whatever they may have made up to you, is haunting them. It's very much haunting this person. Tell me more. Almost like their lies are catching up to them, and it's just eating them alive. 
Thank you. All right, so nine of cups here. Hmm. They know that them lying to you was a selfish act. It was out of pride and ego that they lied to you. But trust me, they're laying in the bed that they made. Hmm. Wow. So we got <clears throat> four swords, the sun and knight of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So Leo energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the knight of cups. Hmm. To an extent, I feel like you may already know, Scorpio, that this person hasn't been telling you the truth. You already kind of figure they're just telling you what you want to hear, kind of brushing you off. Mm. And this is why you're choosing to be single, stay separated from this individual, kind of lay it to rest. Because there are some things that I feel like you already know. Yeah. We got a lot of nines here. Nine, nine, nine. You're deciding to take a break. See, you already realize, you know what, it's best for me to stay separated from this person or the universe may have already shown you different things, you know, giving you signs when it comes to this ind individual, possibly while you're meditating or while you're sleeping, could have dreams about things. Yeah. Wow. Tell me about, I have been trying to numb the pain. I've been trying to numb the pain. Tell me more about this energy. Mm-hmm. Three of swords. They're hurt. They're in pain. They're upset. They're bothered. May have even cried. They're trying to numb the pain of a separation, a breakup. The fact that they know that they broke your heart and technically they broke their own heart by breaking yours. Yeah, the moon at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone here is very, very emotional. But they're kind of like keeping it to themselves. Keeping it in the dark. Hiding, you know, what they really feel. Tell me more about this. Yeah, this person has shed a few tears here. I've been trying to numb the pain. Wow, look at there. More sores. So two of sores. Wow. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to think. It, I feel like someone is just not talking. Because I noticed the swords are down over here. So they're not speaking up, telling you what's going on, how they're feeling. They're keeping it like bottled up inside. They don't know what to do, which direction to go, what's the best choice. Man. Five of Pentacles at the bottom, two of Wands, four of Swords, six of Swords. I feel like not only is this person missing you, but a part of them, is. Be, it seems like they're going through a lot emotionally, mentally, physically, possibly even financially to the point it's almost pushing them to even hedge your way. But they know that this separation between you guys has forced you to move on. There's a break. They know that they also betrayed you in the worst way. Five of Cups and the Page of Wands, Ace of Cups here. Sagittarius and Water Signs. It's like, even if I try to attempt to reach out to Scorpio, they may just kick me to the curve, reject me, even if I try to reach out to talk about even reconciling. Yeah. Mm. All right, so... Tell me about embarrassed. Someone can have strong air sign placement, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell us more. What is embarrassed? I feel like this is someone who never experienced this kind of pain before and they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle it. Hmm. Yeah, Ten of Wands. They're embarrassed, all right. And it's getting the best of them. Behind the scenes, they're going through it. They're hurt. They've cried. They're grieving. Like they said, they're trying to do everything they can to numb the hurt, the pain that they feel. 
And overall, they've been lying to you. This is someone who knows that telling you those lies, it was just a way to keep a mask on to make it seem as though they're okay. They're not, Scorpio. They're not. They're not. They're constantly in their head. They're constantly in their head. This person could also be drinking to try to numb the pain. Doing things with other people, other situations, or just trying to ignore their hurt by maybe going outside of themselves. You know how people try to find things externally to fulfill void. This is someone who's like trying to fulfill a void. Mm -hmm. Almost like pretending like they're happy, but deep down inside, like they're really scared and having anxiety and losing their mind. Not able to sleep at night. It's weighing heavy on them. They're embarrassed on how things fell fell through between you guys. Trust me, it's, it's getting the best of them. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, so final card here. And of course, guys, if this resonates with your situation, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to thumbs up. What is embarrassed? All right, so the hangman flew out in the reverse, so Pisces. So yeah, someone may have air sign placements or Pisces, I do see here. The fact that they're holding something up between you guys. So let me say this. They're not making any type of moves right now. They're not saying, hey, we're completely over Scorpio. I don't want to be friends with you anymore or... I don't want this relationship. They're like at a standstill. There's no movement. It's like there's no decision. That makes sense why the two of swords is here. They don't know whether they should or should not. What is the right thing to do? The wrong thing to do? They're totally, totally embarrassed. Every single day this person wakes up or when they go to bed at night, the weight of everything is piling, piling up. The more they try to ignore, the more it's going to add up. But see, this person feels as though even if they try to make any attempt to try to make something work with you, you're going to automatically reject them. That's why they're not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, two of pentacles as well. With the six of pentacles. This is so I'm telling you, they know that they did not treat you fairly. They just don't know which direction to go, what to do on the emotional level. As well as financial or stability level, it's like you didn't feel safe or secure with them. Everything was always like wishy-washy. But deep down inside, they know that they do have a choice to make. They do. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. So this is what I have. So the number 99 may resonate. Also seen 22. Peace, love, and light to you guys. And I will see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.